Hey there guys, so uh, you might hear things every now and then where people talk about going into the football manager editor. They'll talk about the uh, pre-game editor uh, versus the in-game editor. And I know for a lot of people, including for me, this is a really kind of complicated and pretty confusing subject. So there are two different types of editors in football manager, right? There's what's the in-game editor, which is the one that you have to pay money for. This allows you in your save if you click allow use of the of the in-game editor to change stuff around. So if you're playing your save and you're like, yeah, my team really sucks, I want to have a better player, we don't have any money, you can give your team more money, you can uh, move players from team to team, you can kind of screw around with things in-game. You can't do everything with the in-game editor, and we'll cover some of the things that you can and can't do, I think, a little bit later on. The real powerful editor, though, is one that comes for free with the game. So I have a hard time understanding why the powerful editor is for free and they charge money for the one that can't quite do as much. The powerful editor is what is called the pre-game editor. It's pre-game because you change settings around before you play the actual game of Football Manager. In other words, what you do in the pre-game editor is you create a whole bunch of stuff and uh, you uh, make up a file that you can then use in-game itself to create like your new world or something like that. You can do a lot with it. You can give your team a whole bunch of money. You can take all the great players and put them on your team. You can create a huge challenge for your team. In theory, you can change things around like owner goals and stuff like that. Unfortunately, the pregame editor is extremely difficult to use. It's not very well programmed. It's um, about as unuser friendly as anything I've ever seen. In fact, something is similar. Sorry about the dog. As sim as something as simple as like how to open the pregame editor is uh, not entirely clear. So. So um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you how to get to it here on Steam. That's uh, what we're going to uh, cover today, like how to actually get to this editor. So as you can see, this is not Football Manager. Here's FM24. But this is not the pregame editor. This is the game itself. If we want to go to the pregame editor here on Steam, we have to go over from Games, and we have to select Tools. Then on Tools, we got to scroll down. So there's a bunch of tools here for games that I don't have for some reason. And we go here to Football Manager 2024 Editor. Now, I've already installed it. If you don't have it installed, uh, you click over here um, on the Install button and you can install it. On Linux, because I'm running Linux, you have to install using a compatibility mode, which is usually going to be Proton, right? So we've already done that part. It's the same thing as installing the actual game on Linux, which I covered a couple of days ago. It's not really such a big or major deal to do. The interesting part here is how to get into it. So you know where it is. Again, it's under this tools thing. If you unselect that, it goes away. You got to go to tools and then you go down here again to the uh, football manager 2024 editor. It's not called the pregame editor here. It's just editor. Now, it has a screen that looks kind of like the game itself, except the game will say play, the editor will say launch. So that way you'll know which one you're in. I mix them up all the time, right? It would have been nice if it said editor up here, but whatever. You click on launch, and uh, then uh, we're going to go over here and get into the actual editor itself once it opens up. And there it is. Now, the first thing that it's going to do is it's going to ask you to choose a database, and we're just going to choose the default database. You can use the early database, 24.1 is this, or you can use the most recently updated database. So we'll use that. And now it loads the database, and here you are once it's done inside the database itself. That's how to launch it, and that's how to find it, and that's how to get to it. So that's all we're going to talk about today, just the most basic part of this, right? There are two different types of ways you can like load files and save files. You can load and save them as FMF files, which I believe require validation in game. And you can also load and save them as XML files, which allows you to edit it in a text editor outside of the editor itself. That gives you a lot more leeway to do stuff. But we're already talking about stuff that's a little bit more advanced. Again, the most important thing to understand here is how to get to this and how to open it, right? Once you're in here, things are not that difficult, right? If you have an editor data file, I don't. But if you have one already here, you can choose it and you can uh, find it and uh, load it. And then take a look and see what the other people have done. And there are a bunch of other things here, settings and other things that uh, we can change maybe a little bit later. But there you go. Uh, long and short of it is that's how to open up the uh, Football Manager uh, pregame editor. And uh, now you know how to do it. And uh, so now when you go on the forums and people are talking about this, you know exactly what they're talking about. There you have it. Talk to you later. Bye.